How to choose a solar panel. How do you know what brand of solar panels to buy? In Australia, there's probably hundreds of brands of solar panels. You're not a solar panel expert. How do you know what brands are good and what brands are lemons? That's where I come in. With my 11 years of experience in the solar industry, I've put together this chart. It shows all the brands of solar panels that I'd be happy to have on my roof, sorted from budget end to premium end. I'll say that again. I would be happy to have any of these brands on my own roof. The ones on the left are for the more budget conscious buyer. The ones on the right for people that don't mind spending extra to get quality performance and longer product warranties. The most up-to-date version of this chart can always be found in my Solar 101 guide, which I've linked to in the description. Now, let's look at the four most important factors in choosing a solar panel. The warranty, the technology, the efficiency, and the temperature coefficient. When you're looking at solar panels, the warranty is really important. But what you might not know is that solar panels come with two sets of warranties. The performance warranty, which is always at least 25 years, and is more or less worthless, and the product warranty, sometimes known as the manufacturer's warranty, which is the real warranty. Performance warranties are simply guarantees that your solar panel performance will not degrade more than a certain amount per year. All solar panels degrade in performance over time, around half a percent per year for budget brands, maybe 0.3 of a percent per year for higher end brands. I call performance warranties worthless because it's really easy for manufacturers to try and wriggle out of them and claim any issues with your panels fall under the usually shorter product warranty. And even if you can prove that it's a performance warranty claim, the compensation you're entitled to is usually peanuts. That's why you should be looking at what product warranty is offered with a solar panel, as it's the one you will rely on if things go pear-shaped. These days, in 2020, most budget panel brands offer a 12-year product warranty, and high-end brands offer a 25-year product warranty. As high-end brands carry a premium price point over budget brands, it's really up to you and your situation to decide if it's worth paying extra for a premium product with a longer product warranty. Think about whether the home you're putting solar on is your forever home or something you're likely to move out of in 10 years or less. A solar panel will have dozens of specifications on its data sheet and people can really get their knickers in a twist comparing them. I'm here to say you don't really need to worry about any of them. Just pick a brand from the chart I showed earlier in the video and you'll be good to go. But if I had to choose three specifications to focus on, they'd be the panel technology, the panel efficiency, and the temperature coefficient of the panel. Solar panel technologies can be divided into two categories, monocrystalline and polycrystalline. I'm here to tell you that any difference in performance between the two are so marginal it's not worth worrying about. So don't listen to the salesman eagerly telling you how much better his monocrystalline panels are than someone else's polycrystalline, or vice versa. The second specification to look at is efficiency. Now this is an interesting one, because intuitively, you'd think a more efficient panel would give you more energy, but that's not the case. For example, a 370 watt low efficiency panel will produce the same amount of energy as a 370 watt high efficiency panel. The difference is the high efficiency panel is slightly smaller, so you can fit more of them on your roof. If you've got a big enough roof, Lower efficiency solar panels are fine and will save you a good chunk of change. But if your roof space is limited and you need to squeeze as much power as you can out of it, then you may find the extra cost of top tier, high efficiency panels worthwhile. The third and final specification to look at is what's known as the temperature coefficient, or Pmax. I got up onto the roof on a bloody hot 40 degree summer's day to demonstrate what this is. Did you know, solar panels love light, but they hate heat. The hotter it gets, the worse your solar panels will perform. A solar panel is sized in watts based on the perfect solar panel temperature of 25 degrees. 
that the solar panel will almost always be hotter than the air temperature. So it's a uh, 37 degree day at 9 a.m. in Adelaide. We're having a bit of a heat wave. Let's see how hot these solar panels are after they've been baking in the sun for half the morning. So the solar panels are sitting at just over 51 degrees. That's 26 degrees more than their perfect temperature of 25. As a really rough rule of thumb, a solar panel will lose about half a percent of efficiency for every degree the panel is over 25. So these panels here are operating at 26 divided by two, 13% less efficiency than ideal. But don't worry, a typical six kilowatt system on your roof will still easily power your home's air conditioner even through a heat wave. I'll finish by addressing something you might have heard of, tier one solar panels. Tier one is an industry ranking scheme, which banks use to decide if they trust a brand enough to finance multi-million dollar solar farms which use those panels. Tier one status is based on the financial stability of a solar company and can be thought of as a proxy for quality. At the end of the day, if a bank is going to lend millions, tens of millions or hundreds of millions on one brand of solar panel for a solar farm, you can be fairly confident that they're going to go with a reasonable quality brand. Now, tier one does not automatically mean a panel is good quality. There are a number of tier one brands that I personally would not buy for my own home. And to make things even more complicated, there are some great brands out there that are not tier one. So at the end of the day, don't worry too much about getting the perfect solar panel. Think about whether you want a budget system or a top end system, and then use the chart I showed earlier to choose a brand from the relevant side. Mm -hmm.